Right guys, I've downed my coffee, I've powered up. 20, the sensitivity is at 28. We're on mod, mode 4, I might go all metal. Uh, we've got reduced visibility at the moment, but I think the sun is supposed to burn that away. Supposed to. So, I'll come back with signal 1. The plan is to go right back to the track where I got all that stuff, the, the cartwheel and all the nice stuff last time. May as well go right back there again. Right, I'll see you at signal 1. Alright, that's the first signal. A bit of iron. Alright, next signal. Haven't touched it yet. Ooh. A key from a tin of spam, I think. That's my guess. Alright, what is this? I'm guessing it was the stand for something, maybe. Don't know if that goes on the top. A candlestick holder, I'd... <clears throat> Not a clue, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm going to go with a... Something that stood upright. <laughs> That's all I've got. Alright, I think we've finally got something worth filming. That looks like a coin in there, and... No way. <laughs> That's silver, isn't it? It is. A sixpence, 1942. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Never found one that old. I'm gonna guess that's that's half silver. Brilliant. Coin two just here. That's a penny. Can't quite see the date on it just yet. Give me a second. Nine... 1906, I think. <clears throat> I think that says. 1906. Not bad at all. Right under that tree there. It's another coin. Oh, it's another one of these things that's just wrecked. Could be anything. Oh, I don't know. I'll try my best when I get home, but I've found loads of these here now. Never figured them out. Right, I'm just trying to get this out. I think it's another coin. But it's, it's pretty difficult to get out, so... Give me a second, I'll come back to this. Right, there we go. It's a penny from 1862. Victoria there looking young. So that's why it was quite deep. That is, that's a good age to 1862. Brilliant. Really nice condition. Well, apart from this big blob right there. Right, I've got a signal just in there, and I thought I would show you. This is this was the surface of the uh, the track, basically just there. So there's loads of rocks to dig through. But this signal, whatever it is, is right on the surface of the track. Man, that just looks like a blob of melted metal. Yeah, 
yeah, I'll clean it up when I get home, but I wouldn't expect anything off that. Right, this was right beneath the surface of the track again. That's a, that's some sort of metal object. That's what it is. Right guys, I found something nice. Something a bit different. Look at that. Now what did that go on to? Oh, that looks nice. Does it go that? I think it goes. Man, that's really nice. Was that? Is that a butterfly or is that just leaves? Oh, right. I'm just making my way over to my bag anyway for a coffee. So I'll give this a clean up. Oh, that's really nice. Just off the side of that track. A couple of metres away. Okay, we'll go and clean this up. Right, I was just going over that plug. I think there's more of it left in there, so let's get that out. Right, guys. What on earth is that? I'm just going over to clean this up, so I'll clean this as well. They were in the same hole. I don't know if this is a repair, like this is snapped and they've repaired it, or if it's supposed to be like that. What is that? Oh well, there's one for you. Hopefully someday can tell me what on earth that is, I don't even know, know where to begin. Right, let's clean them up. <laughs> right, I'm just making my way over to clean those things. And I found a nice little button. It does say something on it this time. It says... It looks like there's a crown there and I think it says triple plated. It says some something plated. I don't know if you can read that, but yeah, triple plated maybe. So we'll give that a good clean as well. Yeah, that's quite nice actually. Right, I'm going to clean these things up. Or I could just, you know what, I might just wait to the round up. Yeah, that's what I'll do. We'll, we'll just dig whatever we can, we'll deal with all this later on when I get home. Right, I'm just going to finish off in the woods, just for a bit of a change, and the first signal in here was a coin. Quite, quite trash though. But what I'm going to do is just avoid anything shallow, because it'll be rubbish. And I'm looking for coins. Right, the second signal in the woods, I don't want to get too excited, but that looks like a coin that's cut in half or broken in half ooh or is it just a oh man I don't know what that <laughs> right we're not going to do anything else to that we'll clean that up properly I wonder what that is I think it's just been broken in half, but another one for the clean-up, basically. We'll, we'll deal with that later. See if I can find the other half somewhere. And it's another coin. Three signals in the woods, three coins. The Xterra is just powering through the trash. That's a half penny from. I'm not sure which George that is. I'm going to guess about 1920 something. Let's 
Yeah, we'll, we'll clean that up later. Guys, look at this, look at this. Another thimble. Perfect condition as well. I think, yeah, looks looks excellent actually. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, that is flawless. That just needs a good, that just needs a clean. <laughs> oh man, I feel sorry for you guys when this permission is done. Because we're going to be right back digging up nothing again. I'll have to get somewhere else sorted, I think. Anyway, that's it. That's a long way away. Fumbo! Right, this is the next signal. It says... Can you see that? It says Empire. I don't know what that is, I'm going to guess it's a container for cigarettes or something. But, that gives me something to search for when I get in. Hopefully by the roundup I'll have identified this. It's a nice little thing though. I don't think it's silver. It could be, but I don't, don't think it is. Right, okay. It is another coin. You know what, next time I'd, I might just skip the, the field, I might just do the woods. Easy peasy. Another half penny, I think. Yeah, I think I can see one of the Georges there. Brilliant. Can't believe it. That's another one. Oh, that's Victoria there, looking middle-aged. <laughs> yeah, 18, 18 something, 18, nine, I uh, can't see it through the phone. 1895, I think, and in the same hole, a little piece of pottery, a little plate. There we go. It's another one. I think that's honestly another half penny. No, that isn't. Now that looks a bit different. Is that is that Elizabeth there? Right, I'll have a closer look at this in a minute, I think. Oh, it's not even turned on. Maybe another one. Oh, come on, man, what? Right, give me a minute. I'm going to clear this area out. I think that's Elizabeth there. Hey, guys, we've done the clean-up. I have cleaned everything up, so... We've got loads of trash, as usual. Foil, stuff like that. Uh, where shall we start? Right, that I don't think I filmed. It looks like a homemade gate hint, uh, gate 
latch. It honestly looks homemade. It looks like the guy's just melted a bit of lead or something and stuck a piece of iron into it. Fair enough, whatever works. Uh, this, this thing. I still don't know what it is. I don't know where this bit is supposed to go. It looks bent out of shape. I'm guessing it went there. Or, or there. <laughs> What is it though? Uh, my best guess was a candlestick holder or something like that. Hopefully somebody knows. Uh, uh, this, this, this. I've googled Empire. I think they made tape measures and other sort of metal stuff. But I couldn't find anything. I, I think that's a cigarette case. Is it, is that silver? Or is it aluminium? I'm not sure on that. Don't know what it is, don't know what it's made of. But I found that in the woods. Quite a nice thing to find. Uh, the thimble. The third, third one for me that I've had there. And Simon got one as well. So that's four thimbles, all the same. Come off that little bit. Which is brilliant. That is really nice. Uh, this button, it says treble plated. Oh, it was in good focus there. Yeah, it says treble plated and it's got the little crown there. Apparently, I could be wrong because I only read one internet forum post from somebody, but they date, he said they date between 1810 and 1840. I don't know if that's right. And he also said treble plated basically meant silver plated. So I think he's right on that one. So a potential silver plated button from 1810. That's a really nice thing to find. Ooh. Right, the coins unidentified. I think this half one, I think that's just exactly the same as this but it's just been broken. I don't think it's half of like a, a hammered coin or anything. Unfortunately. Two Queen Victoria pennies. There she is. She looks dead young in that one. That's 1862. And that's actually in better condition than the later one where she looks a bit older. And this was 1895. Oh, you swine. So, yeah, there we go. Two of those. 1906 penny. Two half pennies from the early 1900s. And a ship's half penny from 1956 or whatever it says. Oh, oh, and this, the half silver. Three sixpence, 1942. We are on a roll with this stuff recently. It's going to be devastating when it all ends. <laughs> and then this. Not a clue. I had a guess, right? My best guess on this is something that you would stick to your horse saddle. Right? So imagine it's stuck to the side. And then this little pulley thing, you could... It would have had another one, maybe. And you could strap your satchel to it. Or something like that. That's a complete guess based on nothing. Just just looking at it, I really hope somebody... It's got nice patterns on it. And like I said, it was in exactly the same hole as this. Lovely thing. I think that was maybe the corner piece from a bit of furniture or something. It looks like leaves, yeah, it looks like something that would be stuck on the corner of a, I don't know, a really fancy piece of furniture. Could be something completely different. Lovely stuff though, that's, that's one of the most interesting things I've found in the past few weeks, I think. Just because I don't know what it is. 
that was a nice thing to, to suddenly dig up. And that, that's us. So, please get back to me on this stuff. And this. I'm going for a cigarette case for this. Uh, and I will see you next time. Enjoy your Sunday.